Hi guys, it's a rainy day today, so we're gonna record videos. In today's video, I wanna talk to you about one of the key software I've been using for years. I have been using this particular software to save me so much time every single day, and that is called Acuity Scheduling. You may have heard of it, and there are other competitors in the industry, but I'm gonna talk to you today about why not only I chose Acuity Scheduling in the first place, but why I stuck to it for the decade. Here are the five main reasons why I chose Acuity Scheduling and I'm still using it to this day. As soon as I started my podcast in 2014, I realized that in addition to the very daunting editing and publishing process, the challenge is actually booking time with them. There's a lot of cancellation, rescheduling, especially with some of the tier one and tier two guests. Acuity saved me dozens of hours without exaggeration. My guest is able to immediately schedule appointments based on their own needs. I have guests who live here in the U.S. as well as international locations, different time zones. Acuity allows me to create different calendars so that, for example, I don't have to make my international availabilities available to domestic clients and podcast guests. This gives me the flexibility, not have to worry about that. I'm overstretching myself versus actually giving enough availabilities to book and secure time with my prospects. Regardless of the calendars you're using, personally for me, that's Google Calendar, but if you're using, for example, iCloud or Outlook, Acuity Scheduling has a seamless integration. You don't have to worry, even if you have a personal calendar or two, as well as your work calendar, Acuity has this master view and make sure that whatever appointment you end up booking is when you're gonna be available for. In addition, you can actually pad your calendar. For me, I like to set aside 15 minutes before and after my current appointments so that I don't run into them back to back. It is better for me physically and mentally. I think one of the most underrated features and it's one of the ones I like the most is called intake forms. I can create as many intake forms as I need. I wanna create one for my podcast guests and I can manipulate and change that over time. I wanna ask for their name and phone number. We're gonna talk about reminders in just a moment. But intake forms gives me all the information I need, like their bio, their images, their social media handles, their questions prior to jumping on the call or live stream with me. I can address all of that. Before my recording with my guests, I can easily find that email submission and all that information ready to go. I can, for example, read their bio out loud as soon as I open the live stream. You can easily assign the intake forms to different appointments and calendars you have with just one click. Another one I really enjoy is called automated reminders. For me, myself, as well as my guests will receive an automated reminder 30 minutes before our appointment. That has saved me so much time. Personally, I haven't implemented the SMS, which is reminders through texts, but my friends who work in the service industry absolutely swear by it because it will significantly reduce no-shows. And that's according to the study, not just made up by us. I kind of teased this next one out earlier, which is Acuity Scheduling offers industry-specific solutions. So my friends over there at Meadow Health, please check them out. They have various counselors to help people with palliative care doctors and nurses and social workers and great. I've worked with them in the past and scheduling with them is so easy because they're also using acuity scheduling that allows you to tailor your schedule and be managed by multiple counselors, not just a single user. Next, let's talk about financial integration. This is a tricky part because a lot of my colleagues who work as freelancers and consultants often have trouble collecting payments, which means sometimes you have these 30 minutes or one hour consultation sessions and clients don't pay after they jump off the call. They got busy and forgot. Acuity allows me to charge up front. If you want to book half an hour, an hour with me when it comes to YouTube strategic consulting, maybe Zoom or Zoom webinar, I get paid up front. As soon as the appointment is made on my calendar, I already have the payment in hand. And that is incredible so much weight off your shoulders. That's not something you have to think about anymore. Being a payment, you're able to connect Stripe, PayPal, as well as Square. Acuity even has a tipping option. That's not something that I use personally for my consulting services, but if you're in other service industries, you might find it really handy and significantly even increase and boost your revenue. Last but not least, with Acuity's packages, it's actually really affordable. It starts at $16 a month if you pay annually, and that is something, by the way, that I would encourage people to do. Maybe you'll try it out on a monthly basis. But the moment you realize that you want to use this in the long run, like me, I personally choose 
it's always a good idea to save money by purchasing the annual plan. So is Acuity worth it? Or maybe you're using something comparable or similar at the time. Is it a good idea to consider Acuity? I think it's absolutely worth a shot. I'm really glad because Acuity actually offers much more customizations as well as advanced features. There's more to what I can cover in this simple video. So it's a tool that not only you find handy now, but it's actually going to grow with you and your business. Down the road, you don't have to think about signing up for another software, an account, and integrate, then reconnect everything, reintegrate with the tools you have. Acuity most likely will have all of that covered for you. I really appreciate you guys watching, and please let me know in the comments below whether you are currently using Acuity or you're using something else that is helping you grow your business, and perhaps other tools outside of scheduling automation. I'm all ears and thank you for allowing me to do this on a very rainy day. I hope you find this helpful. If you like this video, please check out some of these videos over here. Recently, I finally decided to group all my AI and tech tutorials for creators inside a single playlist. So I hope you enjoy. Check it out here. Please let me know if there's anything else you like to learn that I can teach. So much love to this community and I'll see you next time.